The more I look at it, I feel like it gets more anorexic. Well, we're not feeding him. That's the problem. So, um, I went to Baltimore and I played the Elder Scrolls online. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that is? I've heard of it. Do you know what it is about? It's the Elder Scrolls, but it's online. A scroll. It's an Elder, there's a lot, actually so many more scrolls because it's a massive multiplayer online RPG. Uh, what do you think of it? Um, I think it's good. Uh, I mean, it's, it's better than I was expecting. I was expecting it to just be kind of a, a silly WoW clone, but basically they just kind of made a, uh, uh, they made an Elder Scrolls game that you can play online that has some kind of MMO mechanics that are sort of rolled into so it. So, it feels like that? It feels like an Elder Scrolls game that's online and not an MMO that's dressed and skinned like an Elder Scrolls game? Yes. But it has a hot bar. It has a hot bar, but it's a kind of a minimal one. People are comparing it to Guild Wars 2 a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody asked me, and I thought this was a really good, a good question, how did it compare to Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning? And I said, it is. it, it was it compared the opposite because that was like a, everything I didn't like about an MMO turned into a single player game, and this was like taking a bunch of things I liked about a mm -hmm. single player game and making them an MMO. But, but you're not a big MMO person to begin no, with, really. I'm or not, any of us? What, what is that? I played World of Warcraft for a long time, mm. and that's really about as far as I've gone into that world. What? It is very all encompassing. You will not see the light of day for many weeks you know, if you the, get into that sort of thing. The guys at Bethesda made an interesting point. They were saying that they, they threw out the words like, you know, social media integration, and everyone went, no, we hear those words too much. Um, and then they, somebody asked them, like, what did you mean by that? And they pointed out that when WoW came out, that was basically a social network in itself. You, know, mm -hmm. you had, like, Battle.net, and then there really wasn't, there was, like, MySpace, and there was kind of early Facebook then, but, like, as far as, you know, social, social networking and social media goes, like, it really hadn't caught on yet. And it was kind of... They said that they want to kind of try and try and reinvent that. Um, what does that What does that mean? Like, what is the What do you guys think of, of the I mean, the social aspect of the MMO? What makes I an mean, MMO? Well, it's important to have a good in-game chat system, I think, um, because you can play an MMO that's fun all day long, but if nobody you know is playing it, yeah. you're not going to want to play it. I you mean, know? It, it's the reason we all play games on 360s and not PS3s most of the time is because that's kind of where your friends tend to be a lot yeah. of the times. It's just the most populist. Mm -hmm. system yep. I feel like. I mean, the one thing that's memorable, this is really specific, but Uncharted 3's multiplayer did a really cool thing where it hooked into your Facebook friends list and even if you weren't Facebook or, or even if we weren't PSN friends with someone, it had their name on there and you could see how they were doing and like, that's cool. I think Rock Band Blitz did that too and like, that's awesome. Like, mm -hmm. That's super smart. It's easy to bristle and kind of have a knee-jerk reaction to social networks in your games, but like that's just pure mm -hmm. convenience right there. That just makes the experience Well, better. so that brings up the interesting topic of in the next generation of consoles, do you think that we'll be seeing more MMOs coming to consoles? Because they have a few now that have seen mild success. Uh, well, Final Fantasy XI is one of the big ones. Um, what, el what else is there on consoles? There's... I think there was a Fantasy Star at one point. Yeah. I just can't shake the feeling there's that... There's one other big one I'm forgetting. I think that there's a, there's a, a DC fundamental... DC Online? DC Universe yeah. Online, yeah. There's a fu fundamental of Dust 514. Yeah, There's a that's kind of true. fundamental thing with, uh, because keyboards traditionally haven't come yeah. with consoles and those are how you communicate with people over the internet traditionally, there's always been kind of a weird kind of oil and water yeah. thing with, with MMOs and just at least the kind of... I feel like console online multiplayer has never had the the massive uh, aspect to it. You know, like there's, yeah. there's multiplayer and then there's massive multiplayer, and it's really well. Yeah, I mean, how do you do in-game chat on a thing like that? Because nobody wants to use their controller and then have to go back and forth between that and chat pad. And at the same time, nobody wants to use in-game voice chat on an MMO because yeah. who are you going like to be talking to? There's going to be like chat, 50 people in your guild at the same time. It, these are all problems that they're going to have to yeah. deal with. I, I do think, like though. To your point about MMOs on consoles not really being a huge thing or even successful before now, like, I just think the nature of an MMO is about to change so much. Like, oh, doesn't, yeah. doesn't it feel like the World of Warcraft dinosaur is kind of dying finally now? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that game has been out for like, what, over a decade now? Yeah, and yeah, people are still aping it. It feels like every, you know, yeah. eight to nine months there's a game that comes out that's like, wow, but with a twist. And you it's know what's, like, what's crazy to think of is, is the, the sort of changing definition of, of kind of of games, of game genres, and what we what we make of them. And there was, I mean, there was a period when, uh, you know, you said fighting game, and you, you pictured like, you know, two guys next to each other, and that mm -hmm. still is kind of like, you know, true in a lot of ways. But they're also like, they're three D fighters. They're environments right. that use it once using environments and stuff. And then, you know, you could say like RPG, and you'd think of like, oh, like Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest or maybe Ultima. Mm -hmm. But 
now it's like there's been so much kind of like uh, just kind of merging of, of yeah. little little bits and pieces. I mean, um, Journey, for instance, that had that crazy like total total way of redefining multiplayer. That was like just anonymous, kind of casual, like yeah. passive yeah. multiplayer, and that that wasn't like you went you start up the game and you're like single player, or multiplayer. You're just like you just played the game and it was just kind of just kind of there. And I feel like we're going to see much more of that because I'm so excited to just see some games try to try to stray away from the hot bar thing. Like you've seen it in some games. Uh, I think probably one of the more differentiated MMOs in that regard is Terra, mm -hmm. which has like real time combat and it's. It's a lot of like precise timing and things like that. It's kind of an action um, RPG yeah. almost, right? If I can sit on World of Warcraft and hit one key and just do like the auto hit button, like that is not a game. Like I'm mm -hmm. barely participating yeah. in what's happening there. I but pressed a button and that's it. At the same time, um, you know, World of Warcraft is the the MMO. That was the first yeah. MMO. Before that there was EverQuest and Ultima Online, like a ton of other stuff. But like World of Warcraft was the first one that really just did it. Yeah. And I think that's kind of coming to an end. And yeah. I mean, it's a huge technical undertaking also, yeah. especially on a console, it's so much harder. And and because a lot of consoles like Microsoft, you can't release, for an MMO, you basically have to release tons of patches mm -hmm. and updates all the time. And Microsoft doesn't want people to do that without paying them a shit ton of yeah, money. The system. And, yeah, and, my, and Minecraft got away with it by working out some deal with Microsoft right. where they can release you know, how many updates they want and it's all free. So that's gonna that's gonna have to be something that next gen uh, consoles and publishers really have yeah, to sort of lean back on. Yeah. I think they'll have to think differently. They're gonna well, have to change the system. I just yeah. to, your, to your point about the hot bar, the death of the hot bar MMO, like that is so exactly what I want. Mm -hmm. MMOs have always felt like second rate. Well, see, that's the thing is, is you're saying like that's the hot bar was is pretty much exclusive to MMORPGs, mm -hmm. and so many of them were like I was saying were kind of copying World of Warcraft. Like, right. they're like, oh, hey, it's World of Warcraft, but with superheroes, or it's World of Warcraft with uh, secret societies, or it's like, it's it's a different, more yeah. dark fantasy. It's yeah. better graphics, like, less cartoony, but it's still like, it's, they, why, why, MMO RPG was the first type of MMO, you know? And it's like, now we have MMO FPSs, and then we yeah. have FPSs that utilize RPG elements, and I think, I mean, what the hell is Destiny? Right. We still don't know what that game is. But yeah, that's actually a really good point. Is we we're kind of at the point where we've conflated MMO with MMO RPG when those don't technically mean the same thing. Yeah. It's just that up until now, virtually every MMO except for like Planet Side and two other games has been an MMO RPG. I want there to be games where like like I've always had this problem with MMOs where they always feel like chat rooms with graphics mm -hmm. where it's not video gamey in the sense that I want it to be. It doesn't feel like playing a game the way playing games feels like playing a game, if that makes any sense. like I think a lot of people like that, actually. They like the sort of non-participatory aspect of it because, for instance, in World of Warcraft, you go to a raid and that's, you know, four or five hours of your time gone. People don't want to be able to, like, they don't want to have to do something like that and not be able to leave their computer mm. to like go to the bathroom or something, you know? Right. Like it's nice being able to do other things while you're playing a game, especially if you're playing it for several hours at a time, but like for me it's just boring and like I don't have a, a ton of time to play games like that. You know, I can't sit on World of Warcraft every night now and just eat shit, you know, an iron You're forge. actually supposed to shit into a into a sock. Right, it's called poop socking. Yeah, poop socking. The hottest <laughs> new trend. I thought you played WoW, Tara. I thought you knew these things. Clearly not. Yeah. Um, Watch Dogs, that, you know, you look at that, that's a sandbox action game with some stealth elements and stuff, but they've been sort of just teasing just the, sort of the corner of the, of the, the multiplayer yeah. stuff, and if I had to guess, it would seem like they've got the, the kind of, like, the mobile, the mobile phone component, like, you can go in while you're at work and, like, mess with your friend's city. Like, maybe I'm totally crazy here, but, like, and I think that, I think that Destiny's gonna do a similar thing. I think that the future of MMO is gonna be I hate the word integration, but that's what I mean. Integrating uh, mobile devices totally. and basically making it so, like uh, Dust 514, they have a, they have a, I mean obviously that's the, that's the shooter component of EVE Online, which is, you know, that's the spaceship spreadsheet MMORPG, and then Dust 514 is like, oh yeah, you're, you're a grunt, you get shot at with actual guns, not just space lasers. And then they've got the, uh, the Vita app, which isn't really like, it's not like a game component, it's just you can customize your, you know, your loadouts for your Dust 514 guy. So you could be like, you could be at work on your work computer playing the spaceship game in EVE Online, and those are the spaceships that are in the same universe as Dust 514, and they're shooting their big space lasers at the guys on the ground in Dust 514. You get up, 
you know, from your work, and you get on, you know, you get on the bus, and you ride the bus home, and you pull out your PlayStation Vita, and you start messing with your loadouts in Dust 514, you get home, you sit down on the couch, you pick up your PS3 controller, and you start playing on the ground. You are, like, pretty seamlessly always in that connected. Never not playing, yeah. That is, yeah, that is that always online. That is a pretty online. massive yeah. multiplayer online experience. I, I think one of the most interesting examples of that, which... I don't think we've even really talked about ever is Defiance, the MMO that's coming out and is supposed to tie in with a sci-fi TV yeah. show, yeah. Where, the, where events in the game will influence the TV show and vice versa. That's the idea. Yeah, and it's such an interesting idea, I think, especially with like the recent crossover between stuff like popular TV shows like The Walking Dead and all this stuff. Like, it has to, there, there are a lot of things at play there that have to work for that MMO to succeed, and I don't necessarily think that it will, but mm -hmm. I also think it's an interesting idea that they're trying to do that. It's, it's funny though, like they showed off that, uh, that Destiny sort of iPhone slash iPad app that's gonna have similar sort of to what you're describing, similar um, kind of messing with your loadouts and mm -hmm. setting up games and telling your friends what server you're on or whatever on the fly. And like I think all that stuff is is that always online thing, and even like you said with uh, with with what's the game the sci-fi defiance one? defiance like like while that might not actually work out, it's ambitious mm -hmm. and it's like that feels like the future, right? Yeah. And I mean it, I don't think a human being is ever going to pull out their Vita to customize their first-person shooter loadout in dust on the bus and let him from work. Like, I don't know. People play Wake Up Club, and that's a game where you can just make your alarm clock be a raccoon. Wake noise. Up Club is awesome. So yeah. Well, hey, I have, I, have a, I have Xbox 360 Smart Glass right now. I'm connecting to Xbox. Like, I'm going onto my Xbox Live account to see what my cool avatar pet looks like. You know, it's like if I wanted to message people on there, I could. I think we're, we're, seeing, we're seeing an interesting thing moving forward. You know, we're seeing, like, games like Farmville. Is that, is that an MMO? Would you call that an MMO? No. No? Because you're not playing with other but people, But it's a social really. game. It is I mean, a social game. there are game. social aspects to the game, but yeah, the bulk of massive, gameplay though. is... God, don't ask me how I know this. Yeah, I think up until now, MMOs have typically drawn from the kind of WoW model, and I think moving forward, they're going to be kind of trying to draw more from the um, you take some of it with you in your pocket kind of yeah. model, the social you know? games model, like the yeah. Facebook game yeah. model. And I think, I think they're going to be borrowing more from Facebook and actu actual you know, social networks than they are from you have a sword and there are <laughs> there are mer merlocks to carry around with you and you know. And I don't think I think if they take the right lessons from social games and from mobile games, that's that's not a bad thing. Like I, I think that there are traditional sort of heavier sixty dollar retail games and MMOs could actually learn something from like. Like for all the grossness of Facebook games and for all the microtransactioniness of mm -hmm. all that, that whole world, I think they can do cool, tasteful, interesting things with that model. Yeah, I agree. I feel it's possible. They just have to come up with the right game and not, you know, be completely soulless. I'm gonna buy some avatar items for you real quick. Can get you get me some cool hats? I just got a message from a guy that said, yo, what's up, sucker? I'm buying you a Tomb Raider tank top. Oh, yeah. Thank you.